This is a classical problem about conservation of linear momentum and kinetic energy, where the final velocities of different masses in an isolated system are calculated based on the initial masses and initial velocities assuming friction is ignored or neglected. A 10.0 gram ball slides to the left with a speed of 0.5 meters per second on a frictionless horizontal surface and makes a head-on collision with a larger 30.0 gram ball sliding to the right with a speed of 0.2 meters per second. If the resulting collision along a straight line is perfectly elastic, what is the velocity, magnitude, and direction of each ball after collision? Consider the following visualization of the problem. Before collision, we have ball A going to the right with velocity of positive 0.2 meters per second. It is positive because it is going in the direction of positive x-axis. On the other side, we have ball B going to the left with velocity of negative 0.5 meters per second. The velocity is negative because it is going in the direction of negative x-axis. Ball A has a mass of 30 grams and ball B has a mass of 10 grams. After collision, we would like to determine the new magnitude and direction of ball A velocity and the new magnitude and direction of ball B velocity. Based on the given, no other forces are acting on the two balls, not even friction. Therefore, we can assume that the system is an isolated system, and we can exploit conservation of linear momentum. Here, I write down initial total momentum is equal to final total momentum. Let's call this equation 1. Note that I can represent these terms as P sub i, which means initial total momentum, because we can calculate this sum since all the values here are given and it is equal to p sub i equals 0 0.001. Let's rearrange equation 1 in such a way I can factor out mass sub a and mass sub b. Let's call the resulting equation as equation 2. Based on the given, the collision is perfectly elastic. When you have elastic collision, the kinetic energy is conserved. In other words, the initial total kinetic energy is equal to the final total kinetic energy. Let's multiply both sides of the equation with 2 to get rid of 1 half. Let's call the resulting equation as equation 3. Let's rearrange equation 3 so we can factor out the masses and factor out the square terms. Let's call the resulting equation as equation 4. Then divide equation 4 with equation 2. Note that V sub A1 and V sub B1 are given. Therefore, V sub B2 equals 0 0.7 meters per second plus V sub A2. Let's call the resulting equation as equation 6. Plug equation 6 to equation 1 and we obtain V sub A2. The final velocity of ball A is negative 0 0.15 meters per second. It is negative which means that the result is consistent with the fact that ball A is going to the left after it collides with ball B. Plugging this value of V sub A2 to equation 6, we obtain V sub B2. The final velocity of ball B is positive 0 0.55 meters per second. It is positive which means that the result is consistent with the fact that the ball is going to the right after the collision. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.